What's up, y'all? It's your boy Winston Wolf. I'm back. I just want to do a quick video. Yes, the fan is on. I'm not shutting it off. She-Hulk episode three. Yes, I've watched three episodes of this. And the one thing that is just sticking out to me, pause, is that each episode is worse than the previous one. And that is just incredible. It's, you know, what kind of skill, fortitude, uh, determination, mediocrity, everything that you need to make that happen is crazy. But the number one thing that stood out to me, and it's already been going on through the all the episodes, is her breaking the fourth wall. So I'm just like, you're going to have three characters in the Marvel Universe. And I'm sure there's probably more, but I just, you know, I don't get that deep into it. Pause. I mean, I get deep into some things. But you get, have the Watcher, right off the top of my head, pause. The Watcher, Deadpool, her. So you have three people that just, they're, they're aware that they are comic book characters. And now they're comic book characters that are in a show or a movie. And it's just, I just don't like it. I know in some of the comic books they have where, like, the Fantastic Four met, like, Jack Kirby or something. And I've seen other ones where they meet Stan Lee and everything. And then they realize, oh, we're fictional, you know, comic book characters. I don't, I don't like it. There's no cool way to spin that. There's, you know, I, like, I can't imagine people when they, when they get these reveals, like, Oh, wait, hold on. I've I've just gone past the span of the universe and I'm opening this door like the Matrix and there's a guy in there drawing me. And it's it's I just don't like it. I just think it's goofy and, and they need to stop with it. But Deadpool, it's fine. It fits the character. And especially when they bring Ryan Reynolds in with it and him doing it, it, it fits perfectly. It just it's certain things work for certain characters and certain actors and other people. It just doesn't. And it does. It definitely doesn't with this. So they have a thing where they acknowledge the critics of everything, and it's just it's cornball because just because you admit something doesn't give you a pass. That doesn't. That's not the answer to the question. And I, I hate when people do that. And they they did it here. They show a YouTube video in the comments, and it's like, why don't they just make their own female characters? Why not? And those are all valid points. Everything that they quickly showed. In the comics, in in the uh, comment section, they're all legit complaints. And then just because you admit it, and then it's like, okay, oh well, <laughs> yeah, they 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 admitted the problem, so let's move on. No, let's not move on. That's not no. If I'm out there murdering people, and then some, you know, some people are like, hey, we think you're murdering people. I'm like, yeah, you know me, stabby stabby with the knife, knife. <laughs> you think those people are gonna be like, oh, well, <laughs> he he admitted it, so let's just. You know, let's move on to the next problem. It, it's it's okay. No, it it doesn't work that way. It's gonna be incredibly stupid. She always has she hawk. She always has this look on her face like she smelled a fart. I don't I don't know what it is. I don't know if she thinks that look is cute. It's just you know what I'm talking about because on all the screen grabs for every video criticizing and rightfully criticizing this pile of garbage show, they always pause it on one of those parts where she's just making this dumb scrunched up face and it's just i don't i don't get why they just didn't edit around it or just straight up give her some better direction but you know it's a woman director they don't demand anything they don't have you seen hallmark channel shows there you go tim roth just the way he is in every scene i know they purposely told him to sit there kind of you know with his posture as if he doesn't care unshaven just like that but i would just like to hope in my mind that they gave him totally different direction and he just knows what kind of pile of garbage show he's in and that's you know legit how he feels he's just sitting there he's doing his british christopher walken imitation he's not shaving hopefully he didn't shower and he's just doing like one take jake sound he's like come on roll roll i'm in a hurry i got i got stuff to do later I hope, but I already know it's that's not the case. Tim Roth is a pro; he's playing the game. But hopefully, when it comes time to renew that contract, he's like, "Nah, I'm good." There's other terrible things I can be in. The male lawyer acting crazy. And I know it's supposed to be somebody, you know, pretending to be him. But just, but just the way that the like shapeshifter is pretending to be him, and the things that they're having him say. It's so off the wall that it's not... I, I, I see what they were trying to do, but it's just so dumb. It's just so stupid. It's... Just, I don't... And then also, he's talking to this black chick. He's just like, hey, you might be my new fiance. You're a 10. Go to work and talk to a black chick crazy. Do it. I, I dare you. I dare you 
there will be when it comes time to punch out at night in the parking lot oh there will be a boyfriend a cousin or a whole bunch of her friends and it will go down there there ain't no talking crazy to a black chick at work i don't care where you're at something will go down so that shows how clueless they are about a lot of things um i can't even read this people abomination people okay so like abomination actually i took a couple notes on a post-it because that's how professional and thorough i am abomination when he like turns tim raw turns in the abomination everyone is freaking out it's like yo at this point are people going to be freaking out about that that much i mean yeah if there's a shark in front of me or whatever of course i'm going to be but it's not like it's my first time seeing a shark ever in life it's not like my first time seeing you know a grizzly bear or something like that you're going to be scared but you're not going to be like oh my god this is my my brain cannot comprehend what i'm seeing we're already what almost 20 years deep into this universe or something and we've seen a lot worse and you know the way the marvel universe is is pretty much with all these public spectacles people have had up close experience with villains and crazy stuff like that so i just i don't get why they're freaking out so much with him in his cell it's just and then the whole megan the stallion thing it's, it's just that encapsulates everything that marvel is now it's just number one okay if if somebody was like you know tupac is in it i wouldn't be like tupac the the multi-award winning hip-hop artist and actor and you know revolutionary that tupac there's only one tupac there's only one megan the stallion somebody says megan the stallion you know who it is they're like megan the stallion the multi grammy winning award-winning blah 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 blah. it's just cornball you can tell because every time they say her name they say her full name they say something along with it you could tell this was like a part of the contract her manager was like you have to say this you have any time her name is mentioned you don't just say megan you say the whole name like an idiot like absolutely nobody would do in real life and then after that you have to name some of her you know awards that she won and stuff like that it's just it's so forced it's so terrible and i just i don't how do the people that give this good reviews and actually like this how do they i mean i assume most of them are that brain dead where they like are legitimately entertained by this but just how how what can that's this show and the good reviews that it gets me and my friends have talking about have talked for the last couple years about real npcs about real people that we just don't believe once they get out of our line of sight that they just cease to exist until we see them again because there's no way with with exposure to other human beings with the internet things like that just how accessible knowledge and art and different things are this amount of people shouldn't be this dumb and this stale they they just shouldn't but there is so it just begs to question you're just like is there are are 90 percent of the people in the world are they even real because I, I don't i don't see how you've gone to be 20 plus years old what 30 plus 40 plus and you're this much of a blank dumb slate you're this clueless when there is actually other quality things out there that just you know with the touch of a few buttons you can have access to i do not get it but this show just proves that there is an audience for it whether they're real or not so she hawk episode three just i don't do i even bother giving it a rate zero zero i'm not it's terrible it's awful the only thing i have to look forward to is seeing how worse they can make each episode because what it's eight episodes ten episodes if it's this bad by episode three imagine episode eight if it's ten episodes imagine episode ten if it's 12 imagine tw- just just imagine it's it's going to be train wreck quality it's going to be bodies hanging out the windows you know flies all over the dead body type of carnage but at that point it's going to be that much of a disaster and i want to be there to see it this is your boy winston wolf i'm out